Jesus name go and rejoice Can I speak to you, sir? Yes, man of God. When I'm looking at you, I'm seeing trucks. And then when I'm questioning, what is these trucks? I found that it's something that is connected with you. What are you doing with trucks, sir? Uh, it's just a plan that I have to do with trucks by mining. By mining? Yes. Yes, because uh, when I'm looking at you right now, you were supposed to be having these things that I'm talking about. But now, Satan, that has been fighting you not to get what you have been longing for for a long years, which is called a child, has also delayed you in the sight of a business breakthrough. Because I'm sometimes seeing you trying to go to work for some days or maybe you go at night or you go for a week and you don't come back i go for only two days i go out and then i come back you come back yeah. yes also where's your wife say she's at work now because now there's also a major problem because when you are wherever you are going there is it at night or wherever what you are doing i'm seeing you trying to cry or worried about certain person called I don't know if it's Kumbizai or Zizai, something to do with that. What is your name, the, wife, the, the, the name of your wife? Yeah, my, the, the name of my wife is Ntakadzin. It's Ntakadzin. Yeah. Because this woman, there is a curse that people tried to curse you that has allocated her for a long time because I'm seeing her trying to conceive and something bad happened. I see her trying to conceive and something bad happens. Can you tell me about that, sir? That's very true. That's that very true because I've, I've been married to her since 2007. It's now 10 years full. Yes. So now, sir, let me tell you, today, today, Amen. the mercy of God has allocated you. Amen. I receive. God Amen. Almighty, God of my father, J.P. Makananisa, Amen. God of Elijah, Amen. has visited you today. Amen. I receive. Amen. Because as I'm seeing you, I see fire that is coming to consume your problems. Amen. And when that fire goes, I see you rejoicing in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing people at Venda ne, that are trying to send more attacks even to you now. Do you know anything that it has to do with Venda? Yeah, I'm from Venda. You are from Venda. Yes. Sir, let me tell you something as this is the end of your problem today. Ne? Yes. There are people that have cursed you from Venda because even marrying your wife, there were many people that were not happy. They wanted you to marry somebody else. That's very true. That's very, very true. true. Very true. So, now I'm also hearing God that everything around you that has been giving you a problem since then, it's over. Amen. I receive. Amen. The grace of God will make you to be able to start your own business. Amen. And uh, this year, next year, this time next year, Amen. you will also be rejoicing with the baby boy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive. We are still live at our Friday prophetic service with our prophets and prophetess. And with me today, I'm with one of the person that just got his prophecy from Prophet Titus. And he will be telling us what was happening. Can you tell us the prophecy you received today? Yes, uh, I received a prophecy by uh, Prophet Titus, which was very, very, very true. While I was talking about my situation through marriage, where I've been married for 10 years now without having a child. And he also talked about your business. Can you tell us what was happening in your business that he prayed for breakthrough for it? Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been here. Even Apostle have been prayed for me for the business of trucks because really now currently I'm a truck driver. So I have also having plans for trucks in transport through mining. He also mentioned your wife and also saying that God is going to bless you with a baby boy. Can you tell us what was happening in your marriage? 
it was like always when she have to conceive, something must might happen which is very bad, so that it did, it cancel maybe the pregnancy. Yeah. And for how long has this been going on? I've been married uh, in 2007 July, which is now is 10 years full. Yeah. And as you have received this word of prophecy, what is it that you would also like to encourage others? Yeah, we can just hold on God because now this, uh, when the prophets are telling that, just told me the things which is uh, very true and the prayer that they are praying for us, I believe that everything is going to be uh, come true. It's going to happen, will pass, everything will pass. So I thank God for, for that. Amen. We thank you for joining us and we thank you for the Can I talk to you, sir? Yes, please. Where is your wife? Uh, she's seated right here at the church. Can you please call? How are you, mama? Fine, you? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Sir, I called you here because... I saw a spirit that is trying to break your marriage. Amen. Because as you were sitting there, I saw you praying. You said, God, please help my marriage. I want peace in my house because there is, there is no peace at all in your house. Yeah, that's exact words that I prayed to God when I was sitting there. Because your house has turned into a battlefield of wits. Yes. When you say something, your wife says another. Yeah. When she says something, you say something else different. That's correct. Today we are going to break the spirit. Amen. That is trying to break this marriage. Amen. Because they don't want my sister to marry. Because Amen. marriage from where you come from, it's a serious issue. Yes. For a person to be married like you and stay with your husband, it's a miracle. Yes. People from your family, they don't marry. Yes, it's true. Yeah, even... And now, even Papa prophesied the same problem. On her? Yes. We thank God. Today, this spirit is leaving this marriage. Amen. This marriage will stand from today. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And with me, I'm with our brother, with, with his wife. He was prophesied to by prophetess Tendo Simono. Can you introduce yourself to us? Uh, Praise the Lord. My name is uh, Jason Nasila, and the person standing next to me is my wife, Oluetu. Can you tell us the prophecy given to you today? Uh, Prophet Estandos gave me a prophecy regarding my marriage, and it's a follow-up from what our father, Apostle Makananisa, was addressing regarding my marriage and my wife. He said they, they are trying to separate us from my wife's side. Yes. And can you tell us the situation at home? What was happening that they tried to separate you guys? Yeah, for some time um, I've been uh, noticing that, you know, there's a lot of uh, friction in terms of um, myself and my wife. And uh, because of that, we've not been really living happily. happily. But the first time after Apostle delivered uh, our marriage, we became fine, then we noticed they were trying to attack us again. So, three days ago, I actually had the dream of the prophecy that took place today, and uh, in that dream, Apostle was delivering my wife and saying that they have attacked her again. Yes. And ma'am, can you also confirm to us the prophecy given to you today? Amen. Uh, the prophecy is true because we are always arguing. I like to argue, I like to contest what my husband says. I just like to contest everything that he says. I never just submit, you know, I... So everything is true, everything is true. And what is it that you would like to encourage others also? Uh, what I would like to encourage others, first of all, is uh, uh, God himself brought us to Charis and this house of grace, it's, a, it's not a normal house. And there is grace of God in this house. Since when we came here, there is nothing that has passed the eye of the grace of God in our pastor's life to address in our lives. So I want to encourage those that are sitting down, those that are listening, when you 
I hear or when you are watching, take God serious because somebody is watching over you and you need to take what the man of God is saying serious so that it can work for you. Amen. And then for the married couple, I, I want you to know that uh, the devil is the one who is responsible for conflicts in the marriage. And because the devil is so angry with your union, he, he, will, he's, he will be changing his techniques at all times. So don't get tired of each other. Pray together and exercise patience. Can I speak with you? Yes. Are you allowing me to speak with you? Yes. Because like your spirit is troubled. No. <laughs> okay. Um, when I saw you there, I heard that you are going to be one of the people that God is going to use in a mighty way. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. But I had the message. I had the message. The message was, let's, let's wait for God to do it at the right time. Amen. Because you're going to shock many people that they think they know you. Amen. Um, who is Enoch? It's me. It's your name? Yes. But I'm, I'm standing on top of what I'm seeing now. This is Ghana. Yeah. I'm, Accra. I'm, yes. I saw Anoma. <laughs> what is that? It's, that's where I'm coming from. That, the central part of Ghana. <laughs> today it's your day, sir. Amen. Today it's your day. Amen. Were you playing soccer before? Yes. Huh? Yes. Because I'm seeing you wearing... It's a, it's a black jersey. Yes. With a touch-up of yellow. Yes, 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 yes. Today's your day, sir. Amen. Amen. The message is, let's wait, and God is going to do it for you. Amen. Very soon. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, do it for this man. In Jesus' name. You're free. And I'm with our brother who received a prophecy from Prophet Andres, and he'll be telling us what is it that was said upon his life. Can you tell us your name and what is it that the, uh, the man of God said to you? My name is Enoch, and uh, what the prophet uh, prophesied me about is true, about uh, the soccer that I used to play before and even the jersey that I used to wear that is black and the stripes was yellow and where I come from in, in the central part of Ghana yes and he mentioned Accra as well that's where my dad house is yes so whatever he said is true and he also mentioned the issue of calling can you tell us about that and yes uh, from the day that I came here that is the one who confirmed my calling and through the grace of God he's always blessing me and anointing me so it's true what, whatever what he was saying yes and when he mentioned the uh where you are coming from you seemed shocked can you tell us the reason about that yeah because no one knows where i come from um or no one have even prophesied me where i come from uh from ghana all, all of that what i'm always hearing about is accra accra but the central part of where i come from but that's the name of anumabo nobody have mentioned it uh, to me before so i was shocked and were you expecting to receive a word of prophecy today no i was not i just came to be a partaker of of the uh, prophecy today so i was shocked that he called me uh, to prophesy me and since he said that you must wait for the right time of God, what does that mean to you? Uh, yes, uh, I'm still waiting, so uh, uh, there's no need for me to rush in, in, in the things of God. I still need to wait as I'm under our spiritual father, Apostle Jerry Makananisa, so I'm here still to wait upon the Lord. Many people are releasing themselves out there and you were told today to wait for the right time of God. What other words of encouragement would you like to give to those who are in a rush to start their ministries? Uh, as we are in the end time right now, the Satan is trying to frustrate people to take people out from their calling to be used by uh, things of this world. So I urge everyone to 
follow the things of God because we have heaven to attend. And uh, by the grace of God, I know whatever God has designed you for, it will surely come to pass. Can I talk to you? I just want to pray for this baby. Amen. Because there are people who have gathered saying we shall see if she will give birth. The plan, they want you to get this baby by operation. Amen. But today, when I pray for you, this operation will be cancelled. Amen. Because there are people in your family that are just sitting, gathering against your family. Amen. Because they don't want anyone to be married in your family. They want you to lose this child so that the man will be discouraged. Amen. But today, when I pray for you, we'll cancel the plan of the enemy. This operation will never happen. Amen. Can I pray for you? Amen. Thank you, Lord. You will come and give a testimony. Amen. You will be, you'll be there in front. You will be there in front. Say, hallelujah. God has blessed me with a baby boy. Amen. Because I saw this is a nine month. Yeah, it's, yeah? it's my ninth month. <laughs> you, you'll, you'll be in the queue. You'll say, hallelujah. God has blessed me with a baby what did the doctor say? He said, it's a boy. It means what I'm telling you, you shall see it. Amen. Because this baby is a blessing. Amen. Where is the father? Yes. I want to tell you something which... This baby boy, you must take care of this baby. Amen. Is it your first child? Yeah. Take care of this first child. Amen. There is something special about this boy. Amen. Eh? Amen. Can I talk to this boy? Amen. I'm trying to ask the name of the baby boy. I don't get a name. But I'm hearing this child is telling me that, eh, my father is Joseph. Do you know Joseph? Amen. Wait, wait, wait. Do you know Joseph? Amen. Who is Joseph? He's my husband. I'm communicating with this baby boy. I'm communicating with this baby boy. He's telling me my father is Joseph. Joseph, I tried to run away from the calling of God. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because I see you, you met when you were still studying. Yeah. Yeah? Amen. Today when I pray for you, you shall testify. Nothing will happen to this baby boy. Amen. Ah, your name uh, in this when I'm full, I can't pronounce it. It's Venda. Amen. It's a deep vendor, your name. I can't pronounce it. Amen. Maybe I can, I can try to demonstrate it by people. Yeah? So that you'll, you'll, you'll be sure that what I'm saying, you will testify. Amen. Because you must pray even one of your sister for divorce. Okay. Yeah? Amen. Do you know anyone who's divorcing? Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You don't have a sister who, who is married but is home now? She's married but she's not at home. She's where? She's at the husband's She place. didn't go home? Yeah, she visits sometimes. Home? Mm. It's what I'm talking about. Uh, today, when I pray for you, you'll testify. Amen. Pen, Patuchezo. Yeah, what is that? It's my name. Hey. 
Let me pray for you for this baby. In Jesus' name. You will testify. Greetings, viewers all over the world. Here with me, I'm with one of the people who are pro was prophesied by Prophet Temba, and she will be introducing herself to us. Ma'am, can you kindly tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Pachezo, and I'm from Pretoria. Can you please confirm the prophecy that you were given today? Yeah, I can confirm because the prophet said I'm due this month and this is my ninth month. He also said that I'm going to give birth to a boy and I'm currently carrying a boy. So I can confirm that what he said is true. Uh, the man of God said that he wants to pray for the baby, meaning there were complications that you were facing. Can you please tell us what were you facing with this pregnancy? What I faced is that I've been having pain in my tummy and the baby hasn't turned yet. So I can confirm that when he said that they were gathering around so that I may have an operation, I believe that in the name of Jesus, I'm going to give birth naturally. When the man of God prophesied you, how were you feeling at that moment? And I was just feeling overwhelmed and happy because I came with an expectant hand and I thank God for that. For the people who are watching there all over the world, who are facing the same situation that you are facing, what are the, are the words of encouragement that you can give to them? No, what I can say is that they can continue to watch Harris TV and also when they come to church, they should come with an expectant heart and expect that God is going to do something. Can I talk to you? I must pray for you. Because I saw a spirit of rebellion that was to enter you, sir. It's very true. Yeah? Very true. Because I saw you, you were having friends. Very true. I used to have friends. They went out of the ministry. Yes. Eh? Yes. In fact, they were trying to kill the minister of my father. Very, very true. Your friends. Very, very true. And now this friend, they want, this spirit wants to enter you, sir. It's true. Yeah? It's very true. Why do you say it's true? Because sometimes I feel like I'm not wanted. You are not wanted? Yes, I must leave. Sir, don't rebel. I must pray for you. I saw this. It's a dangerous spirit. Because they want you to rebel. Because yes. I see your friend. Two. They went out. Yes. One is started a, a church. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Two of her friends, they went out and started. Where is, you are from where the pastor Mobile's church? Yes, I'm from there. They were there? Yes, they were there, but they left. They left? Yes. One of your friends started a church. It's very, very true. Even name it Yeshua, something, Yeshua, Yeshua, Mashiach. Yes, very, 100% true. Yeah? 100% true. Today, sir. When I pray for you, this spirit will overcome it. Amen. Because it's a spirit that every day you think about, must I go, must I go, must I follow my friend? Like them, they are prosper. Sir, don't go. Amen. Isn't it you have made up your mind that you want to be in charis? Very, very true. Submission, just submit. Amen. Take whatever the man of God is telling you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because I'm hearing these people, it's a spirit that is calling you, sir. Because you are a man of prayer. Amen. Yeah? Very true. You are a man of prayer, but the spirit wants to overcome you. Very, very true. But today, as we are here, say, this spirit of rebellion, it shall be cancelled. Amen. Because I'm hearing, you shall be a light of your family, say. Amen. Yeah? Amen. Today, I want us to make a prayer that will help you. Amen. A prayer that can, can cancel the spirit of rebellion. Amen. Because this spirit, say, is fighting. Amen. Very, very much. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Deliver Lindo Gusha from the spirit of rebellion. Deliver Lindo Gusha from the spirit of rebellion. Who is Lindo Gusha? I am Lindo Gusha. When I lay my hand upon you, sir, Amen. this spirit will leave you Amen. for good. Amen. In Jesus' name. Come out, you spirit. What are you doing? You spirit. Come out. You leave this man today. What are you doing? You spirit. Come out. In Jesus' name, you spirit of rebellion. Why? Why are you confusing this man? Eh? Speak. In Jesus' name. Eh? What are you doing to this man? Today you are arrested. In Jesus' name, you are leaving this man. What are you doing? 
Jesus' name. Come out. 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 Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. You are being set free in Jesus' name. And here with me, I'm with our brother who has prophesied today during the prophecy. Uh, can you say, in, can you introduce yourself to us? Uh, I'm Lindo Guslemota from Bitrate Mpumalang. You were given a prophecy. Can you please confirm the prophecy to us? The prophecy was very, very true. That I was starting to have a, a spirit that was saying I must come out of charis because of these guys who came out. They were starting to prosper and I was like, ah, why am I suffering while these guys are prospering? But I kept on praying. Because I came into a way whereby I wanted to run away from Petrative and come this side and serve this side. Uh, when the man of God was prophesying you at that moment, he said that you would feel that you don't belong here. Why, why would you feel that? And how, when that happens, how would you be feeling at that moment? Sometimes I, I would cry at night. Sometimes I would just say, ah, you are suffering. These churches, they are prospering. People are testifying, but you, you are suffering. People are rejecting you. Why are you still here? Come out. So when the man of God prophesied you, how were you feeling? Uh, I was so amazed because I was expecting to be delivered from the spirit. And by the grace of God, I am free. So the man of God also prophesied you that those friends of yours were trying to destroy the ministry of our father here. How were they trying to do that? They were spreading rumors in Petrative. That the, the prophet whom was sent, the former prophet, Prophet Mauban, he's not good. They even tried to make people to turn against him. But because he was, he, was, he was praying for us, we said we are not going to leave him. It got to that point. And the man of God prayed for you. How are you feeling right now? Right now, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, sh I'm shaking and I feel free. I believe that those friends of yours that are watching Charis TV right now, what can you say to them and what can you say to the people out there all over the world as I believe that today you are free in Jesus' name? What I can say to the, what I, I can say to the people all over the world is wait for God's time for you to manifest. And to those guys, I'll say to them, repent, repent, repent. Say, so I believe that today your deliverance is permanent in the name of Jesus and I believe that greater testimonies are following you. I want to pray for you because there's a plan of the devil Amen. for you to give birth through operation. Amen. Today we are going to cancel that operation. Amen. Because your baby has breached right now. Amen. The baby is not sitting properly. Amen. And this thing is troubling you because you have started feeling pains. Amen. You think you won't give birth to this child. Amen. Today I'm promising you, you will give birth to this baby safely. Amen. We cancel operation over your life in Jesus' name. Hold your baby. In Jesus' name. Safe delivery in Jesus' name. You are free. Can I speak with you, my sister? Yes, prophet. There is much grace that is following you. Yes. But I saw the enemy, Satan, trying to stop you by only using your family. Amen. Because before we can reach far, I found that there is a spirit that is coming from your family that is there trying to stop you in everything that you want to do. Firstly, when I was asking what kind of good grace that I've seen, I was saying that I was hearing people saying that as young as she are, how can she be in this white dress? Because now there is a grace of marriage that God wants to give you in earlier age, Thank at the Jesus. age of 22. Amen. Right now when I was speaking, I was hearing people saying that ah, how come a young person but who was born in 1996, yes. when are you born? 1996. I heard people... I heard people saying that how can this young girl show us a symptom of marriage? Because already when I'm looking at you, 
there are already a symptom of marriage even to those who don't know you. Amen. I, am I lying? No, you're not. So now, when I was questioning, I found that this is a spirit that is also coming from your family because of... I was also hearing people that speak something to do with Kosa or something to that language. Um, Zulu. Zulu. Yes. Yes. Zulu and Kosa, to me, is the same thing. Yes. Now, listen to me. I heard them speaking against your present moment right now. Because of right now, as I'm speaking with you, ne, God is telling me to pray for you. To break this spirit that is fighting you not to go there. Because of at the age of 22, I see you about to celebrate in your family Jesus. when somebody is coming to give them some cows there. Thank you, Jesus. How old are you now? now? I'm 21. You are 21. Yes. So this means that next year, around December time, yes. you will be singing a good song. Thank you, Jesus. Do you know anything like that? Can you try to confirm um, anything? My anniversary is in December and I was planning to get married in December. Now listen to me. This day, it's there to unlock and make it possible for that day for you to marry. Thank you, in Jesus. the name of Jesus. Raise your hands. I've also seen Satan also trying to fight you uh, so much in the sight of where you are trying to work. Yes. Because now, Satan saw that you are having good plans, very strong plans of good life that will make people to see God in you. I don't know if you understand. Yes. So they also, I'm seeing also them trying to come in the sight of to destroy the issue of your job. Yes. But now, I'm hearing God saying that, I must tell you that, don't worry. God will sustain you Thank and uh, you Jesus. will never be stopped by anybody to work up until this day of your marriage come. Thank let me Jesus. pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Father, as you have spoken, let her receive. In Thank you. And uh, here with me, I'm with the lady who was prophesied by Prophet Titus. Ma'am, can you please tell us your name? My name is Vanessa. I'm from Tembisa. Uh, you were given a prophecy today by Prophet Titus. Can you please confirm the prophecy to us? Um, he prophesied that I was born in 1996, which is true. And he also said I'm 21, which is true. And I also had plans of getting married next year in December, which was also true. And he also prophesied you regarding your, where you are working. What was happening there? Because he said that you are having problems there. What was happening? Um, I was having problems at work and I started applying for a new job. Yeah. So when he told you about these obstacles that you were coming across in life, how were you feeling? I felt really good because he confirmed that God is with me all the time. And he also prophesied you that you are having problems, you are, you are encountering problems with your family. What is happening in your family? Okay, um, in my family, they don't really believe in God as such. Um, so yeah, that's the problem we're having. So how did this really affect you since well, you're the only one who's believing in this Jesus? Um, it affected me badly because to even speak about marriage to them, they didn't believe in that. And since I was young, it was becoming an obstacle to actually have a conversation with them. And today, the man of God prayed for you. How are you feeling right now? Uh, Can I speak with you, my brother? Yes, man of God. We need to pray for you today. Amen. Because there's a spirit from Zimbabwe that is scattering everything. That's very true. You try to work, it's a problem. That's it very comes true. to nothing. That's very true. Are you hearing me? And I'm hearing this spirit is calling you back home. Yeah, I wanted to... I wanted to go back home because even now I got nothing. You have got have, nothing. I don't have a place. No anywhere. job, yes. no place, no, no girlfriend, nothing. Nothing. I'm seeing nothing here. There's no. nothing. Huh? There is and nothing. And this spirit, if you go back home, they're going to kill you. So we have to prevent this thing. Now, leave. Leave your spirit. Come out! Your spirit. Can you hold him? Come out! 
Come on. What are you doing here? Huh? So you're the one who's... So you're scattering everything in his life. I destroy. Huh? I destroy. Because you want to take him back to the life that he was living yes. before. Huh? You must go back. Uh, you you must never go do that. Come out. Back. No. You will never do that. Never. Are you the one who's calling him home? Yes, I'm going. Huh? You must To do go. what? Yeah, you must die. To do what? You see this one? Let me tell you something. Huh? Yeah. I put a spirit so that he must love ladies so much. But he doesn't have ladies. So that he must, they must Your spirit is stupid. Him. Come out! Never. Never. Leave this man. That is spirit. Leave. Okay. Leave. Come out! You're free. I'm with one of them. Originally from Zimbabwe. Yeah, I'm originally from Zimbabwe. Can you please confirm the prophecy to us? Uh, the prophecy was very true because, to be honest, I was very much shocked. I was not expecting to be prophesied. All I, all I needed, uh, it was for me to be delivered because I can see a lot of things around me. Uh, so when they prophesied me, whatever that they said, it was very much true because, as for now, I've... Uh, whatever the prophet said, that there is nothing around me, it's very true. There is nothing. And I was thinking of the only thing that I have now is the phone. So I wanted to sell that phone and go back home because even the place to stay is a problem. Food to eat is a problem. So everything they said with me, it was very much true. And the man of God said that, as you said, he, you wanted to go back home because the situation was so bad. When he told you that, how were you feeling? Uh, I was trembling because inside my heart I was praying to God that God must bring the solution. Because as for me, I've done everything. I've tried everything. And with all my doings, I've failed. So now I think I need God to direct me and give me a way that will change this situation. When the man of God was praying for you, a demon manifested. Did you believe that your situation was caused by a demon or did you believe that you had a demon? Yeah, sometimes uh, I dream a lot about when I'm, in, when I'm at home. So the things that I will be seeing, I, I don't know to how to explain them, but I'll be seeing a lot of things, people gathering at home, uh, calling my name, laughing they say i must come back because i'm nothing i must die so i've been seeing that for a long time but i can't tell anyone but i thank god because they've revealed whatever that is happening i thank god for that and you are prayed for how are you feeling right now I, i'm still shocked and i can't believe it but i thank god for his grace Say so there are many people out there all over the world who still believe that there are things called demons, who st still don't believe that people can be possessed by demons and encounter the problems that they are coming across in life. Today you are free. What can you say to those who are still not believing? Yeah, only what can I say to, to young men and young ladies that are outside there is that God loves us even though we go astray, we go off-road. He will always bring us back to the house of worship. He loves us. And I thank God for that. Amen. Thank you. Viewers, connect with us and believe that today... And Can I talk to you, my sister? Uh, you have suffered a lot. In fact, nothing works for you around you. I'm just, when I'm looking at you, I'm just seeing somebody that, who's rejecting even life itself. Amen. Because sometimes even the decisions that you take, they don't give you good results at the end of the day. Amen. So I am here firstly to tell you that even though praying to you is a struggle, but the love of God, Amen. it's upon your life. Amen. Because now I'm seeing each of a business Yes. That it's a struggle yes. in your life. Amen. You, you were, when you started, it's like business was coming. Yeah. 
But there is a spirit that came and devour everything. Amen. Because around you there is nothing right now. Yes. Amen. Yes. And uh, when I'm looking at you uh, right now, I, I'm just seeing uh, even taking care of yourself, it becomes a challenge. Okay. Yes. True. It's true. Now, my sister, I want to pray for you Amen. to break a spirit. Because through you, God wants to support Amen. a family that is called, I don't know, do you know people, because uh, it's a group, I'm seeing a number of people, by the name of Shivuri, something like that. It's my same name. It's your same name. <laughs> Listen, God today wants to raise you in Amen. business. Amen. Just to support Amen. and show those people that are against your family, that Amen. God is alive. Amen. I want you to raise your hands and pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have said that you will repay with tribulation those who trouble us. Father, I pray that this family that has been troubling the family of my sister, they must be given tribulation in the name of Jesus. Wait, um, when I'm praying for you, God is also telling me to pray for you concerning the issue of marriage. Amen. Because I'm seeing a child, a baby, it's a girl. A amen. You have a baby girl. A amen. Yes, um, I'm seeing from, since you are given this child, it's very hard for you to get the right partner. Amen. Because also as I'm seeing, I'm also seeing you trying to be involved with somebody that is having somebody. Amen. Because of you, your life, it becomes so useless because of you just want somebody that can just be there for you. Amen. But I'm hearing God that as I'm praying for you, Amen. as I've seen God repaying those who troubled you, ne, Amen. I'm also seeing a release of a marriage in your life in the name of Jesus. Receive. In Jesus.